Hey guys, today we're just going to go into a brief overview of SI units and the metric system. So, what is SI? Uh, it generally stands for the International System of Units, and they're used throughout the world as a unit of measurement except for the United States and some parts of the United Kingdom or England. There are four major types of measurements that we'll focus on. Um, those are length, mass, volume, and temperature. However, we'll need a few more throughout the year that bridge the gap. Um, we'll get to those as needed. Um, length is measured in meters, mass is measured in grams, volume is measured in liters, and temperature is measured in degrees Kelvin or Celsius, and I'm fine with either one that you choose to use. Uh, keep in mind that these are the metric SI units. The English system is probably what you're more familiar with here. Uh, English units are for the same measurements. Our length, we measure those in inches, feet, yards, miles. Mass, we measure it in ounces, pounds, and tons. Volume is measured in fluid ounces, cups, quarts, or gallons. And temperature is usually measured in Fahrenheit. Um, and in some places you can get it in Celsius, but you are probably more used to Fahrenheit. And there's one key advantage over using SI units, uh, or using SI units over English units. Um, other than it's more widespread is because metric units work in intervals of 10 therefore it's very easy to convert from a big unit to a small unit and vice versa. English units are not really that easy to convert. For example, can, you should try to convert one mile to inches just using your brain. For unit conversions we use a simple phrase uh, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, and each uh, word in here stands for something else. King stands for kilo, the prefix kilo means 1,000. Henry for hecto, meaning 100. Died for deca, meaning 10. By stands for one, or the base unit, and that's generally what you'll use here. Drinking stands for deci, which means one-tenth. Chocolate means centi, meaning one one-hundredth, and milk meaning milli, for one one thousandth. Here you can see the SI units that we'll use in this class. If we ever do use formula, they are a mixture of letters, symbols that give a certain equation. Make sure that you know your symbols, what you're supposed to be using, know your letters, read the problem and choose the right formula. Just plug whatever numbers you have into the formula and make sure you check your work afterwards. All right, scientific notation is simply a way to write very, very big word or very, sorry numbers in a smaller package. So the number 100 billion can be written as 1.0 times 10 to the 11th. Basically, what you'll do is you'll move your decimal place over in order to get it in here. Uh, follow the cursor here. Um, I think that I can write on this. Let's try. Um, we use a pen here. Normally in this section, the decimal place is right here. So when converting to scientific notation, we'll move our decimal place over and count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And so this is now where our new decimal place would be when converting to scientific notation. And we moved our decimal place over 11 places. So that's what number goes in the exponent's side. So we will rewrite it as 1.0, which we got from right here, times 10 to the 11th power. Now, when you see a positive unit here, that means the decimal place was moved over to the left from the original number. So when moving back to the original number, you will move the decimal place to the right. So if it's positive, decimal goes to the right. Okay. If this number were to be a negative 11, that means the original number was very small. And we're going to move the decimal place to the left. So if the number is uh, negative, we're going to move it to the left. Okay. Also, do not forget to add your units. If you, add your, if you do not add your units, we don't know what you're talking about. The answer will be wrong. All right, thank you.